Give Jehovah your best. A historical data. Poverty denied no one in Israel the privilege of making peace with Jehovah. Even the poorest Israelites could give Jehovah an acceptable offering as long as it was their best. They could offer flour, but Jehovah still expected it to be fine, the kind used for honoured guests. Today, Jehovah accepts our best sacrifice of praise regardless of how much our personal circumstances may limit what we can give. I sent you to reap what you did not labor on. Others have labored, and you have entered into the benefit of their labor. John 4.38 What if your share in preaching and teaching the good news is limited by your failing health or stamina? You can still find joy in your role in the harvest. Consider the experience of King David when he and his men rescued their families and belongings from marauding Amalekites. Two hundred of the men were too exhausted to fight, so they stayed behind to guard the baggage. After the battle was won, David ordered that the spoil be shared equally by all of them. It is similar with our worldwide disciple-making work. Everyone who does his best can share equally in the joy over each new one who is rescued and helped to start on the road to life. Jehovah knows that we cannot control the outcome of our personal efforts. Even so, He notices our diligence and good motives, and He rewards us. He also teaches us how to find joy in the part we play in the great harvest. We can be assured of God's approval as long as we do not give up.